with over 60 universities spinning out over 1.8 million graduates. What does the future hold for these aspiring young undergraduates as they come out only to join the pool of unemployed people in the country today? The question is, where are the jobs? While I was growing up, the labor market was very conducive in the sense that um, it absorbed everyone that was available to work. Now, um, sometimes the pages isn't worth it. There's a lack of jobs, but even further, there's a lack of well-paying jobs. A well-paying job, by that I mean um, a job that helps you pay your bills on time, your rent on time, your, your, your car bills on time. Your, your, your health bills on time. Um, the more limited spaces in the private sector and the public sector, you find out that companies are shutting down, companies are um, reducing the, the amount of people they have already. So the unemployed pool keeps on swelling and swelling. We Nigerian youth, we need revolution. Our government, they are not encouraging us at all. In a situation where by one senator or one local government chairman or one governor yeah. will be having trillions of naira in his account. At the end of the day, he will use that money to, to develop another country. It's not encouraging. Where are we going? If we don't cut this thing now, our next generation will still suffer it. And the challenge also is that the kind of graduates that are being thrown out from the universities or the kind of graduates they have from um, even secondary schools are half big. Because um, I see a situation where we turn out graduates that are not employable at the end of the day. You say? What type of work do you do? I'm a professional. I'm a professional. And as somebody that is a professional now, any work, any work, any work. Some of us want to be in a very big office. Maybe the day they are employing you, they give you a car, they give you a house, they give you everything, or even money for you. Well, it's not so. So my friends, they don't really, they don't really have a job. They just sit back at home with their boyfriends, with their parents, and when you ask them when they work in, they'll tell you it's because there's no job. What I like to know is, how did we get here? What's the way forward? To make them realize that the way forward for this country is vocational training. I hope that now that they've been trained, they will be able to establish the business. The business will run it, will grow, and they will also engage more people from the street so that the issue of unemployment will be significantly addressed. Think that there is nothing that is available. Sometimes we have a mindset. There are opportunities there, but you don't want to apply yourself. You don't want to go because you think that if the, the space is already filled. You think that they've already chosen the people that they want to choose. They are just simply advertising. They are not going to employ. Do not operate under that condition. Operate under the condition that I have seen this advert and I'm going for it. You might be the one that will be chosen. I came in contact with a man called Ogochiko Wachiku. He's passionate about covering the issue of unemployment. Let's hear from him the time you were unemployed yeah at the wow, time i was unemployed so, so i was i was looking for work mm. and in the process of looking for work i was applying for a lot of jobs so i was always in front of a job website some of these recruiters collect money some of them collect money and in the process of collecting money they bias the recruitment process how can i serve a lot of all these other people that are still looking for work and these companies that are not online so I now thought of an idea and called it the Skills Festival, short form Skills Fest, putting Skills Fest. So what we do is, it's, it's, it's practically the same thing we do online. So the recruiters come with their jobs on that day, training facilities come with their courses that they have, then just seekers come. And in the process of applying for those jobs, they realize, okay, this person, I need this, I need this, I need this, I need this, okay, maybe I don't have this. Then they see a training facility that offers and develops that skill. Uh, there are lots of people out there searching yeah. for jobs. Okay. There are also lots of people out there like us yeah. searching for uh, people to give jobs to and we okay. can find them. So having this um, opportunity, I think it's um, awesome. It's a great one. 
Now, let me say this, the generation of Nigerians who, when you hear them speak English, yeah. you can tell exactly where they're coming from, okay. is fast fading away. No, Nigerians are now smarter than that. This is no okay. longer the generation of Nigerians saying, my name is Zon Zonsen, I'm a Zen to the man from Zon. Ah. I jump into rivers, zug 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 my reg, I south. This is the area of diction and elocution. Okay, we so we, I'm so glad to meet a lot of graduates of okay. English communication arts who've been roaming the streets, having nothing to do, yeah. and I've been searching for them, and I was so glad to meet all of them in one sweep. I was taught how to, how mm. to know that I'm a brown yes. and how to bring out the best in me. Mm. Okay. Because I think it's an, an, an avenue to create job for job seekers, mm. improve them. From the number of people out there searching for jobs, yes. we really need you. This is a wonderful uh, innovation. Please keep it up.